Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a review of Pomegranate Prosecco Punch. As I promised in my last video, my last video was a review of Joy, and then kind of like a small haul, and one of those candles was this. But as I said, I needed to burn it like another time before I could fully form my opinion of it. And I feel like there's a lot of things I can compare this to, and I wanted to be able to try to give you as much information as I could about it. Um, overall, I'm not like super thrilled with this candle. It's like just okay for me. And I'll explain why. So first, when I first heard about this candle, heard about the notes, and especially when I saw the color, I think like most people, I thought, oh, that's probably Cranberry Pear Bellini, and they changed the name. Especially since um, this has pear noted in it. And you think pomegranate, cranberry, like they're both really sour tart fruits that I know Bath and Body Works has interchanged those before. But it's not uh, cranberry pear bellini. And actually cranberry pear bellini, if you're missing it, is out in a wallflower online, but probably not a candle, although never say never. But when I smelled this in the store, I was shocked to realize that it was almost just like sparkling pear riesling here on cold sniff when they were both unburned and I have like an unused unburned sparkling pear riesling and when I got the pomegranate prosecco punch home I even had Josh take both candles when they were both unburned and like mix them around while I closed my eyes and then give them to me one at a time so that I could see if I could tell the difference because I was not the difference was so subtle that I thought maybe it was just all in my head right so he did that three times and every time I did get it right but every time I also hesitated and was like oh, I'm not sure let me smell them again you know like they were only very subtly different and I think the difference that I did detect was that they were 90% the same but there was like 10% of something more pomegranate ish in this candle now I will say that when it's burning it changes and it's not the same as sparkling pear riesling burning though it is still similar the pomegranate that I'm getting in this comes through a little more and then it's more like a 60 40 it's still like 60 percent the same maybe 65 percent the same as sparkling pear riesling but weaker not as strong a poor man sparkling pear riesling a watered down sparkling pear riesling and therefore I believe it to be inferior to sparkling pear riesling so if you have a bunch of sparkly pear sparkling pear riesling like me because I stocked up on this because I love it you definitely don't need this um, this throws like an eight or a nine and this is throw in strength is like a four for me um, but the difference is when it's burning that other like 35 to 40 percent that's not like sparkling pear riesling is like the typical pomegranate type of scent that Bath and Body Works does and it reminded me of this pomegranate spritzer candle from Summer Sips but this was a white barn exclusive and this is certainly stronger than this too but same type of pomegranate and the same type of pomegranate that I have in a pomegranate pocket bag from Bath and Body Works. Same type of, type of pomegranate that's in midnight pomegranate almost, but you know what I think that it most closely reminds me of is the pomegranate lemon artisan collection body care from summer of 2014. And I know a lot of people really liked that. I'm not saying that this candle smells exactly like that. I'm saying that the 30% of this candle that is not sparkling pear riesling is kind of like that body care. Almost like if you took sparkling pear riesling, you mixed it with pomegranate lemon artisan body care, and then you toned it all down to like where the strength is only a four. That's the best way I can describe this candle. That being said, I think there are some people out there who will like it. <sighs> For me, it's just, it's not that I hate it, but again, it's just inferior to this, so I feel like I don't need it. And it was kind of a waste for me to pick it up. I guess it's not a waste because I'm here reviewing it for you all. And I'll keep it. I'm not going to return it because I've already burned it and everything. Uh, and it's fine. But it's not going to be a repurchase for me for sure. Um, if you like that artisan body care, though, you might want to check it out. You know, be aware, though, that this one doesn't smell a lot. Like, like it kind of smells the same cold and burning. But... Not as much as other candles. It, it changed for me when it was burning and I got like a different essence from it. Um, I can see why they don't need to put this and Cranberry Pear Bellini out. Here's a Cranberry Pear Bellini medium-sized candle from last year. 
Uh, much, actually, this is more sour and tart, the cranberry pear Bellini, go figure, than what I'm getting from this one. Uh, definitely different, but in the same vein of the same essence. They both have pear in them. They're not the same, but they are too similar to put both out. Um, last thing I'll say, with Bath & Body Works candles that tend to be weaker scents, and this used to happen to me, it was why I was never a big fan of Cranberry Pear Bellini, because I used to, with Cranberry Pear Bellini, feel like it was so subtle that you kind of got, like, when you were burning it, like a smell that was, you could tell something was burning, and it was kind of an oily scent, or I've heard people say there's kind of like a kerosene scent with some BBW candles. I would get that with Cranberry Pear Bellini a lot, and I kind of like a little bit get it with this one. It's not the worst offender of it for sure, but it is a lighter scent, and so it kind of has like this oily, something is burning, but you don't really get the too much of the fruitiness. I don't know. Again, I don't think it's terrible, and I think there are some people out there who are going to like it. But for me, there are better options and better candles out there, and I almost think I would have rather seen them put out Cranberry Pear Bellini again, um, because this is just kind of this weaker, um, possibly more sour version of Sparkling Pear Riesling, almost like um, Sparkling Pear Riesling gone bad a little bit. So um, I say that lightly and not to knock it too bad. I'm not trying to give this an overall negative review, but I can't really say that I recommend it either. Um, and not, again, not a repurchase for me. And now I think I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. I just, I want you to know that I don't hate it and I'm not giving it a totally negative review. I'm just kind of disappointed in it and I feel sort of meh about it. So anyway, that's my review of Pomegranate Prosecco Punch. And I have more reviews to come. So stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram, Candles and Music. I'll see you later.